Hey guys, I'm Ivan and today we will go on this great journey of what VR is about. Uh, with Deal VR, we focus primarily on VR videos and uh, we are gamifying VR videos. We want to make them fully interactive. You can touch things that you see, you can interact with other people peer-to-peer. Uh, multi-user experience and you can have it uh, you can have the action right in your living room okay now i tell you in detail what is what so first of all we are headset okay that's the thing the, where you watch video quest pro is my favorite uh, there are also pico 4 and brand new quest 3 uh, really great pass through there so this is one side, that's where you see things, and this is also our cameras, okay? This is a Canon camera with a fisheye lens, replicating human side. Um, this is brand new Techi camera. We are adding support into the OVR. So what happens once you see video? The camera records a video, basically replicates my side. You see left eye, right eye. And then there is like some pipeline how we process everything. So inside VR headset, I get left, right, right eye, and I can see things like uh, like I would see with my own eyes. Super easy, super human. All right. So what makes VR video great? Mm. Uh, I strongly believe, and this is factual data, that uh, VR experience uh, is exponential in terms of perception cognition to flat experience okay you get like uh really in the middle of the action the thing is happening in front of you so with uh flat cameras it's uh, you only see and again like our uh our neural network our brains they were trained for flat content for hundreds of years. Books, paintings, uh, smartphones, desktops, television, everything is flat. The pro and flat cameras. Uh, for flat devices, you need flat cameras, bravo. Uh, what's the problem with flat? With flat, you always see a frame. And by moving frames closer or far away, and choosing the right perspective or angle, you make big scenes look small and small scenes look big. With VR headset, with VR cameras, with VR videos, you get this super, super personal, super human experience, basically feeling things, not only seeing it, and it's greatly distorted because uh, small can be big, big can be small, but in VR you get this like supernatural experience that you feel. Not only that, we make VR fully interactive. Uh, what do we do? Uh, just to make it simple for you, we have those haptic suits. Basically, we encode video, each frame of a video, to react into particular moment. So once it's raining, once you see that you got big bullet uh, hit you in the video, you will get this feeling, okay? And I really like this over suit. What's uh, next? This one is my favorite, right? This also looks great. All right, so in this, uh, uh, this suit, it has electrodes, so I can program very many uh, reactions and uh, make videos into uh, interactive with haptic devices there are all sorts of haptic devices hand wristbands leg whatever we can we can uh, replicate whatever feeling you you see in the movie and uh, what i'm most excited that haptic devices are uh, growing fast and we will be making uh, firmware for all esp32 devices and connect them with the ovr services cool Another thing, so uh, imagine you see this VR movie. VR movie is everything in front of you. Basically, you see those lenses. They capture everything basically end to end, 180 degree. And it's important, uh, we, we strongly believe in 180 degree compared to 360 because it's much more natural. It's, you, you get much, uh, much more value 
with VR180 compared to 360 there are some technical reasons why it's so uh, to give it fast uh, first it perfectly replicates human system human sight you get left eye right eye you stitch them together voila you got perfect picture 360 you have multiple cameras and algorithms are not that good to stitch it together uh, basically you have to invest disproportionately more time to get 360 video the effect of 360 you don't get as good um, stereo uh, stereo is the sense of depth basically if I if you watch it in VR and uh, uh, you we have this as uh, eye contact or I am moving things to you, you you want to grab it right this is the perfect distance it's basically like us talking together all right and I will be uh, demonstrating things for you and you see that you you, you, you that everything uh, that you need as risk like even in this real life i barely have to walk what, uh, to see what's behind me 180 and there are some technical like hardware decoding uh, uh, compatible resolution and stuff just well, vr 180 is like a uh, solution for everything and now we have this perfect icon Okay, we have this VR video, we capture the whole space, the most interesting thing is always uh, mostly in the middle, we call it fifth spot. And then we put extra transparent layer, it's just transparent layer, and we mark op objects, we call it object tracking, we can track this object, we can track this object, we can track me as a whole, or my left hand, right hand, headsets, whatever. Then. We have hands tracking uh, those headsets, they have cameras in front, cameras in front, you see cameras, and using some algorithms we can track our heads, and then we have depth maps for videos, so we know how far away is each object from the camera, and you are basically in the middle of the camera, so with your hands, if you touch this, we can jump to presentation of the chair. If you touch Canon, we jump to presentation of Canon. If you touch headset, uh, Quest uh, Pro, we will go there. If you touch me, we will go to some, uh, to elsewhere having fun. All right, so the point is, this is like, uh, we call it build your own journey, and we will be releasing this feature shortly. Second thing, and we will demonstrate it additionally, it's uh, pass-through and AR. So with pass-through in an AR, we can remove all the background we see, and you can have me in your living room. So those headsets, they have camera, and you can see through those cameras like with your own eyes. So imagine sitting in your living room with seeing everything that's in front of you, and once you watch video, you will see me in front of you. Isn't that great? Imagine all the other great things you can see in front of you. All right, uh, pass through, and we will make it also to smartphones, so you won't be only catching Pokemons uh, with your smartphone camera, but we will, you will also see uh, real persons and things in your living room. And on top of that, we learn to create custom backgrounds. We will try to showcase you in this video perfectly. We want to have green screen, then we will replace um, this background, but we will get some like 30 seconds once uh, you will see some uh, paradise or something with uh, uh, not this office place. Another way of innovation. All right, so the most exciting thing we are working right now is introducing multi-user peer-to-peer interactive experience. It means that all those things I, I have told uh, about, we get them connected into a single piece. And then you can watch scenes, you can watch the same movie at exactly the same time with your friends, special ones, family, strangers, and you can be connected with the help of various haptic devices. You can feel the same thing, you can give each other a feeling. And my perfect device would be to create this wristband on my hand, connect it to DOV if we get friends on DOVR app. And then um, it gives uh, 
my feelings of if, if I, I can know what you feel, if you are like relaxed, if you are excited, if you are distressed, it will give me different vibrations, different signals, probably color of the screen. Then I can, uh, I can send you my, uh, that I'm touching your hand or I'm grabbing your hand or we just holding each other, right? Uh, it's still in works. Uh, all right, so, and then basically, perfectly uh, also what we are doing this is really important we are extracting all the metadata we can get from videos to help us with all the interactivity that we are looking for so it's not only like basically we are looking videos just videos like whatever happens there but we have we know uh, what people are there what what do they do and we can extract the data to um to power those, basically those devices, they need scripts, they need uh, some logic, how do they function. We can also gamify videos because we know what is, who is touching what, what happens, uh, what triggers. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching this short presentation of our VR video streaming effort. There, is, there are many things happening, many things coming. Come join our team. We are hiring a lot. We want to connect with everyone who wants to make those uh, great things come true. And uh, follow us, uh, many updates. Uh, we want to connect with all the creators. We want to start doing hackathons because uh, we, we have accumulated a lot of innovation knowledge and there are many creators who have their vision, their ideas, how do they want to shoot things. So we will be all getting together. Uh, we will bring all this equipment. Also, we have many, many cameras. We have uh, um, many, many headsets. We have post-production team. We will work together one day, shooting things, video editing, uploading it on DOVR and seeing how uh, people like it. Uh, why? Because no one knows uh, how, to, how to do things. And I'm excited that we managed to go so much forward. Uh, basically have no competition. We are industry leaders in this interconnectivity and peer-to-peer multi-user experience. And we want you to join us. Have fun.